So this is what it's like when love leaves, and one is disappointed that the body and mind continue to exist, exacting payment from each other, engaging in stale rituals of desire. It would seem the best use of one's time is not to stand for hours outside her darkened house, drenched and chilled, blinking into the slanting rain. So this is what it's like to have to practice amiability, and learn to say the orchard looks grand this evening as the sun slips behind scummel clouds in the pears, mellowed to a golden green glow like flames among the boss. It is now one claims there is comfort in the constancy of nature, in the wind's way of snatching dockwood blossoms from their branches, scattering them in the dirt, and the slug's sure, slow arrival to nowhere. It is now one makes a show of praise, for the lilac that strains so hard to win attention to its sweet inscrutability. And when one admires instead the lily gouge, adds, rasp, hammer, fire forged, one syllabled things, unthought of until a need exists, a groove chiseled to a fixed width, a roof sloped just so. It is now one knows what it is to envy. The rivet, wench, vice, whatever works, unburdened by memory and sight, while high above the damp fields, flocks of swallows roil and dip and streams churn, thick with leaping salmon, and the bee advances on the rose.